And that's pretty free. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Mythical Kitchen, where dreams become food. Well, it's the year after last year, and you know what that means. It's time to put the dumpster fire that was 2020 behind us and kick off our New Year's resolutions the right way. Today's video is sponsored by Simple Truth and Kroger. Simple Truth makes it easy and affordable to get back on healthy habits with options for eating natural, organic, fair trade, gluten-free, plant-based, keto, and whatever else fits your personal needs. Now, y'all know I'm absolutely committed to that gains life, which is why I'm doubling down on protein for 2021. You also know the burrito is my favorite food, so I'm using Simple Truth ingredients to make the most protein-packed burrito burrito you have ever seen. Yep, we're making a carne asada burrito with an all meat tortilla. Now it's super easy to order everything you need online from a Kroger family store and have those ingredients delivered right to your door. I've selected ingredients from Simple Truth's giant list of affordable, natural, and organic foods free from over 101 artificial additives and preservatives. Simple Truth is proud of what's not in their food and happy to make shopping for natural and organic foods easy and affordable. They're also about to be proud of me for turning these ingredients into a meat masterpiece. Now I'll be breaking this down into three easy steps, so if you're following along at home and need to see something again, snag the time code right there. Also, you can find the recipe in the description below. Let's get cooking. All right, so we gotta start out by making this meat tortilla. And I know what you're saying, meat tortilla is not a thing. Well, now it is, and the way we're gonna make that, we're starting off with raw almonds. Now, I'm a big nut guy. You can use whatever nut variety you want. Simple Truth offers tons of nut varieties. Oh, another swole making snack that I always keep on hand is non-fat Greek yogurt. It's got tons of protein, it tastes great with some honey, and you can blend it into tons of recipes like this one. You'll hardly know it's there. Next, we're gonna add some mozzarella cheese, just as a minor. And then the main component to our meat tortilla, of course, is the meat. So we are using boneless, skinless chicken breast. It's so lean, it has tons of protein, and you can really transform it into whatever flavor you want. All right, so first step, we gotta take our raw almonds, and we're gonna put those in a food processor, and we're gonna try and teach Josh fine motor skills so he can open bags. So we're gonna take about a cup of these, and then we're gonna throw them in the food processor, and we're gonna buzz them up until they're very finely ground. All right, so. All right, so you gotta let this run for like a while, cause it's gonna take a minute for this, so he's gonna, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying, like you gotta let it run for a long time to really grind it up as fine as you want, and then while that's running, I'm gonna dice up this chicken breast to throw in there. All right, so we're just dicing this up. Again, you're gonna really blend this chicken. The idea, I should explain the idea to you real quick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna blend the chicken, the yogurt, the cheese, a little bit of cornstarch, and the almonds into a fine paste. It's almost the way you'd make a sausage, but this is gonna be so lean, so it's gonna hold up well, and it's not gonna like leach out a lot of moisture like a lot of sausage would. So that fine meat paste we're then gonna spread onto a silicone baking mat, and then we're gonna put burrito ingredients inside that, and then essentially roll it up like a tortilla to hopefully bake it into a perfectly cylindrical, all meat, tortilla burrito. All right, so now we're gonna take half of this yogurt, save the other half, because while you're cooking, you need to be ingesting protein constantly. But we're gonna add this to there. The yogurt should just let this blend up more evenly. I do a lot of like, uh, <laughs> like swole baking. Like I'll make swole cakes where you just mix like a bunch of peanut butter with yogurt uh, and then protein powder and then bake that and call it cookies. Some consider it sad, I think it's awesome. All right, now we're gonna take about three quarters of a cup of that mozzarella cheese, then a little bit of salt just to season, and then a little bit of cornstarch because that is gonna help bind it. And then let it run on high. You're really going for a smooth meat paste. I cannot stress that enough because you wanna spread this out evenly. You want the machine to struggle against the tension of the meat. Silicone baking sheets. Silicone baking sheets are a product that I absolutely love using. I use them at home, I use them in the studio kitchen all the time and they are great because nothing sticks to them, basically. It's just like, it's like pre-lubed. And so we're gonna take about half this paste and you wanna go end to end on this and really schmear it out. Also, if it starts to stick to your spatula, you can just take a little bit of oil and rub it on the spatula. You can take a little bit of oil and rub it on the spatula. So there's just a little bit of oil that I need right now to rub on the spatula. <laughs> Where? Fudge, man! I found the oil. It was three feet from me. <laughs> so you can take a little bit of oil, Rub it on your spatula and <laughs> get it around. This is, this is uncomfortable, sorry, Maggie. Oh yeah. All right, so we have our meat paste completely smeared out. I'm really happy with this. I'm gonna take this, pop it in the fridge, and then we're going to start cooking up our carne asada. Why did I do? That's the second time I've done the All right, so now we have to make our carne asada. So I'm using this Simple Truth organic ribeye. 
treat yourself to using a nice steak inside your burrito, you know? 2021, 2021, it's, it's the year of a lot, but it's also the year of using nice steak inside your burritos. That's what I firmly believe. So we're gonna cut this into like relatively big chunks because I want to keep some of the integrity of that meat. So we're just gonna add our steak to that bowl. Then I like to take a little bit of onion and just add that right to the steak. That's gonna really blend in there. And then the onion's actually gonna soak up a lot of that beef fat. Taking a little bit of chile molita, a little bit of ground chili powder, taking some fresh garlic. We're taking a little bit of cumin, 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 cumin? We're gonna take a little bit of cumin and then we're gonna put it in there and then a little bit of cayenne. And then we're just gonna give this a nice mash with our hands. You know, mash your meat with your hands. You can use a spoon, but I like to really massage it in there, kind of tenderize the meat up a little bit. Meanwhile, we're gonna get about two tablespoons of oil into that pan, get it nice and screaming hot, because we wanna get a super, super quick sear on this carne asada. It is going to fill the studio with smoke and you're not gonna be able to see anything, Maggie. Oh yeah. What the heck is happening in that pan? Take all of our steak, drop in that screaming hot pan. And then you're just gonna give it a nice jimmy. This seems like it's smoking more than it should. All right, so just kind of keep moving it around. And then you want it to kind of settle in one fine layer at some point and then walk away. Simply walk away, let that go for about 30 seconds and you're gonna go in and give it another toss. All right, this is looking absolutely gorgeous. I mean, we've literally cooked this for about two and a half minutes. It's super crispy, caramelized, got all that browning on the outside. And then the inside should still be nice and juicy. So we're gonna turn the heat off my favorite thing to do with carne asada, we had all that salt, all those spices in there, is to take a little bit of fresh lime juice after it's been off the heat, and then just squeeze it all over. That is lovely, lovely. All right, so if you see, we got our meat tortilla fresh out of the fridge. It's nice and set up. I think it's gonna roll up beautifully, but first we have to put all of our burrito fillings inside it because we're gonna bake it all together to really shore up that meat. So I'm gonna put a nice little layer of refried black beans, and then I'm gonna nestle the steak. There's not a silent T in nestle, it's nestle. I'm gonna nestle the steak right inside there. All right, now I'll be adding some of this Simple Truth plant-based queso style dip into the burrito because y'all know how much I love silky smooth queso and that's what we got right here minus the dairy. No dairy, all deliciousness going right into our burrito. 2021 is also the year of us uh, uh, unnecessarily shortening words and annoying literally everybody obvi. All right, so we're just gonna give a nice smear of that plant-based queso and then it's all gonna steam together and the steak is almost gonna braise. We got all that lovely caramelization on it. So I'm taking all of our steak, keep some steak nuggets for snacking later. You can throw it into your yogurt. I do that. Yeah, yogurt doesn't have to be sweet. Like sure, it's good with honey, but like you can eat meat girt. All right, so now we got our beans, we got our plant-based queso, and we got all this steak into our meat sheet tortilla. Now the most tricky part of this is the rolling process. I'm gonna fold it over and then I am going to unravel it and the meat tortilla should gracefully unsheath itself. There you go, a very graceful unsheathing if I don't mind myself saying so. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tuck the edges just like a burrito and then we're gonna kind of fold the other way. Beautiful, beautiful. And then we're just gonna give it one roll onto itself. And I'm gonna put it in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes. All right, so we got the burrito cooking in there. That's going for another 20 minutes or so. And right now we are going to make some guac. I got my Simple Truth Roma tomatoes. So I'm gonna take these and I am going to core them. Just take your knife, run it around the inside and rotate it around. This is also known as the grandma cut that like I honestly have not mastered. You know, you see grandmas like peeling fruit. They're not even looking at the apple and they're just like rotating it around. They just have this knife that's like attached to their hand. Like they're a grandma Wolverine. You, you all know what I'm talking about. The way I like to cut Roma tomatoes is I just kind of cut them into quarters and then I'll take my little knife and I'll just run it down the seeds and get the kind of pits and seeds out and just throw them into the trash can that's off screen. I'm not just throwing them on the ground. All right, so we're just gonna be using half this tomato in our guac, but with the other half's tomatoes, you can use that as a spoon to eat your leftover Greek yogurt. It's honestly a really nice snack. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I like to hold the avocado in my hand and then just run the knife down to the bottom. So I like to cut little cross hatches into my avocados and like all is better to use free shavakado. So now I'm just gonna put all of that into my mixing bowl and take my tomatoes, add those in there. I'm gonna take a little bit of diced white onion and then a fair amount of jalapeno. I've removed the seeds because I like to get, I like the heat on the spicy guy, but I like to get a ton of that fresh chili flavor. 
then a whole lot of fresh chopped cilantro. I like it to be nice and dark forest green. And then salt, I'll just estimate because the size of your avocados is going to be different, but I do like a fair amount of salt. To me, the salt is like really what should drive the guacamole, and I don't do a ton of acid. I think a lot of people over acidulate their guacamole. They're just making it like this lime paste that I don't really love. So I'm just gonna do the juice of a quarter lime. You can always season to taste, always underestimate the amount of salt and lime that you put in your guac. I'm just gonna give it a nice mash. All right, let's give it a taste. And that's pretty free. <laughs> <laughs> to me, this is like a perfect guac. You got the nice juicy tomato in there. So we're gonna check on our burrito. I'm gonna take that out. And then we're gonna plate this up. And I'm gonna clean my shoes. All right, look, I know I said I'm all about the protein, but what is a burrito without a side of chips? Now, my favorite part about these Simple Truth organic blue corn tortilla chips is that there's only three ingredients. You got organic corn, oil, and salt. Also, like, they look pretty rad and they match my blue plate. All right, so now I gotta take the burrito out of the oven. We just gotta slice it, plate it up. It's pretty hot, but I think I can just kinda like roll it. I think I can just unroll it in one motion. It should flop out. There it is. Oh my God, we even got a sear on the bottom where it was resting directly against the heat. That's freaking incredible. I'm gonna cut into this, get a cross section to see what we're working with. Oh my gosh. You see how that plant-based case was just seeped into all those steak crevasses. This thing smells absolutely incredible. We are ready to eat this up and go spork ourselves. All right, this looks absolutely incredible. And now to give you the most immersive eating, viewing experience possible, we're gonna dig into the spore can. Let's get, let's get after it. Let's, okay, oh yeah. Oh, right in there. That's nice, I'm gonna take a little bit of guac. And then I'm gonna take Simple Truth hot sauce. Hold on, I got it slick with guac. My hot sauce bottles are always so dirty. And then right in the gullet. Wow. This satisfies like an actual burrito. <laughs> there are like 100 grams of protein in this. It is absolutely delicious. But that said, this is a burrito. I'm eating it with my hands. I have a foolproof burrito eating method. I take the chip and I take a double serving of guac and I go half on the first bite. Then I leave this sit to soak like cereal and milk. And I top it with hot sauce. And then I go to town. Wow, my hand is slick with burrito grease and that is how I want to start off 2021. Thank you again to Simple Truth and Kroger for sponsoring this video. And remember they got everything you need to kick off the year eating healthy in whatever form that takes for you. To order Simple Truth products or pick up or delivery from your local Kroger family store today. And thank you so much for stopping by the Mythical Kitchen. We got new episodes out every week. We got new episodes of our podcast out every Wednesday wherever you get your podcast. It is up on Instagram with pictures of your meat Ritos. Hashtag greens has become food. We'll see you all next time. How much of those hot sauce do you think I can eat in a whole burrito? Get as messy as you want in your kitchen when you have the Mythical Kitchen Towel. Available now at mythical.com.